Uh, I'm Ed Bice. I work at Medan. Um, I'm going to be talking today about a project that we've been developing with Hypothesis. Um, setting uh, this project in 2018, um, I think that there's a sense that those of us who've been working on the open web for the last decade or two or three um, uh, feel that the wheels have fallen off the party bus in 2018 and that we're that we're, we've kind of been left curbside looking for our, our, our idealism and, and, and seeing open knowledge and uh, open democracy and, uh, and, and the dreams of, of uh, what the web could be uh, uh, turned uh, through the meat grinder of what the attention economy has, has meant for our ability to to uh, sort fact from fiction, fiction and uh, generally uh, 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 create a world where, where uh, knowledge is valued. So uh, early in 2017, after our experience monitoring the US election, um, uh, we proposed uh, that, that the web annotation standard uh, could be used as a, a conduit to thinking about how we uh, formalize third-party indicators of credibility. So we proposed a project, Knight Foundation came behind it, and we started gathering people. Um, so we have built a, a large community of contributors, uh, all working on this central question, can we agree on scientific and systematic ways to assess the credibility of information? And can these be applied at scale? So uh, the approach we're taking on this is to identify indicators and use cases, uh, to uh, establish a, a, a working process and, and, and build a data model around these indicators. Uh, and then to generate and evaluate testing data. So um, we had a paper presented at WebConf this year uh, that presented some of the early findings from, from a first round of testing. And, uh, and, and that's been encouraging enough to uh, bring supporters and participants around the project. Um, we do have all three or not all three, we have three major platforms involved. So we have Facebook, Google, and Twitter uh, involved in supporting the effort, uh, Wikimedia uh, as well. Um, and, and the idea is that, that we uh, create high quality uh, training data and that we evolve indicators that help us sort uh, the credibility of claims, of links and of sources. And very importantly, there's gonna be a thousand questions and, and, and I'm gonna run off the stage before any of them are asked, but um, this is not a truth project, or it's not a truth project in the sense that we see the truth as monolithic. This is a, a, a project that allows third party rights credibility assertions. So, um, Esther Dyson gave a brilliant talk last year, and she um, at this conference, and she uh, raised the issue of what happens with annotation at scale, um, and and she recognized that we need strategies for how we're going to filter, how publishers are going to choose to filter, or how end users are going to choose to filter this, with Credibility Coalition and with the notion of credibility annotations across the web, we see this as, as central to the challenge. How, do we, how are we gonna choose to filter many annotations that might have differing uh, conclusions about the uh, veracity of a claim or the provenance of an image? So um, why are we doing this? Because this was the most shared public health article last year, okay? Um, and here are some of the partners we're working with on this. So uh, if you are motivated to participate, 
Uh, please reach out to myself or Dan. Um, uh, Scott Hale is also in the room, uh, uh, and uh, Michaela Stevens also here. So uh, please reach out um, and uh, and and love feedback on this. It's a, it's it's a big boil the ocean project that's touching on issues of of web credibility and and you know our ability to assert things. Uh, as my board member Zainab Terfeci says, verification is the new anti-censorship. So this, this is uh, an anti-censorship project. Um, and thanks very much. Thanks.